Hi, Moglets. Today we're playing on Bones account, trying to do floor 12 of the Abyss. I actually tried this off screen last Abyss reset and I couldn't do it. I gave up. I got very, very frustrated because I'm used to taking my own units and my own team and I kind of know what to expect from them. Bones isn't free to play by any means, but she doesn't have the same units I have. And yeah, once I like have a team and have success with it, I just stick with that forever. So... <laughs> It, um, it, it was definitely pretty hard, but we're going to give it another try. Uh, as you can see, she hasn't made too much progress on her own. She said she could get to the kinky floor, but not beat them. We'll see what we can do. Her main DPS at the moment is still Skara. She's been using him the most since uh, he came out. She said for first half, I actually have to use Shogun, Zhongli, Baruzan, and Skara. This is kind of the first half team. We do need some Electra in there for the algorithm at the end. Uh, but that does not leave Zhongli for the Kinkies, which I really like to have, though we could do it with Dia instead of Zhongli last time. I would go with like an Ito team, but I'm not sure she has C6 Goro, which might not be super necessary, but other than that, you know, maybe we could have like Binny. Oh, she does have a C6 Goro. All right, let's go. We can maybe go with kind of an Ito team. Oh, actually she has a really good Ito with Redhorn Stone Thresher. Okay, I actually didn't use an Ito team last time. I'm not sure why. I think my main issue last time though was with the Wanderer team because Zhongli shield just kept getting broken. I remember like two weeks ago, I completely messed up her Zhongli and it seems like he's still like that because he has 45k HP. His shield just kept getting one shot by the Kinkies and I'm like, oh, he has Staff of Homa and give Zhongli Favonius level one. She said if I need to raise artifacts, I can. Um, didn't mention weapons, but I, you know, it's kind of the same thing. We'll see how far we can get it anyway. If it like stops at 20 or 30, yeah, it, which it will. Yeah, I don't think that's actually gonna be better than anything else, honestly. Would generate some extra particles, which would be nice. Yeah, we're gonna keep him in Staff of Homa for now. Catch is fine for Shogun, I guess. She won't be our main DPS anyway. Oh, well, maybe 263 is enough. Yeah, I mean, I think the first team is already fine. Zhongli, Faruzan, Wonder, I think are all built fine. Definitely not gonna mess with her Wonder. She'd kill me. We might take Ningguang or something for the Ito team, just so we have three Geos in there. Probably would go something more like Noel, just for some extra protection, but uh, yeah. Level 50 might not cut it. Goro has a level four goblet currently. Not that it really matters, I suppose. Let's see if we have a deaf goblet. Oh no, that is literally the only one. I mean, it would help a little bit, so I do kind of want to raise one, honestly. Goro doesn't really need much besides like energy recharge though, so. Actually, he has Favonia, so crit rate would be important too. This one starts with four subs, crit rate, energy recharge. What more can you really ask for? And I guess flat depth would probably be the best, honestly. So no matter what it goes to, unless it's Elements Mastery, it'll be good. Energy recharge, good, good. Of course, we got the Elements Mastery, 25% chance, but no. Oh my God, I knew it again. It doesn't really matter that much, I guess, but still, it kind of hurts. Like, dude, twice in a row now. All right, cool, we got some extra crit rate. So Favonia should be easier to proc. Oh wow, thank God we got some crit rate rolls. He's now at 15%, so he had literally 5% before. <laughs> Uh, he might need a little bit more, actually. He also has a plus eight plume, so this one has 7.4 at 16 already. We're gonna give that to him. No one else is wearing it anyway. And we're gonna go and get it to 20. Maybe it goes one more into crit rate. Make up for that double element of mastery roll. Yes, there we go. It did make up for it. Nice, nice. Yeah, 26 should be all right. But actually, didn't Faruzan always have Favonius? Oh, she also has Favonius. She raised two. Good job, Bone. Faruzan's crit rate, as far as I know, is good enough, yeah. Goro's definitely wasn't. It's barely good enough now, but it should be fine. Everything else is 20, so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. Actually never made sure she's all right. Skyward Atlas is probably okay. I mean, I guess it's fine. Probably could be better, but yeah, she doesn't have like eight five-star books like I do, so. <laughs> Actually, Witsoth would probably be pretty good. She's not gonna be our main DPS. She's, she, she's just gonna come out and do some stuff real quick and then I'm gonna swap to Ito, so. Let's try Witsoth. Two-piece Crimson Witch, um, not the best set for her, I would say. Definitely one of the top three, but yeah, I think we'll take this one, honestly, for that 15 Geo damage bonus. No one's wearing it anyway, so we at least get the two-piece, Archaic. I'm just kind of poking around her artifacts, and she has some amazing pieces. Like, I just randomly clicked on this plume, 7.4 crit, 34.2 crit damage. That's literally 49 crit value. That is crazy. So we're doing two Archaic, two Gladiator, 61 crit, 200 crit damage. Would like a little more crit rate, but I think it'll be good enough for like a sort of sub DPS. I think I've prepared pretty well now, so let's see how this goes. Uh, starting with this one, these guys are always a little tanky, but we'll see how it goes. Check out that wonder damage real quick. Yeah, I mean like 20 to 30K per normal attack. That is insane. See if we can save the burst for the, no. 
I was too late. I didn't press it in time. Eh, we're going to use it on this guy, I guess. Boom. 47k each. We only really have Farozan and maybe, a, I guess, Zhongli a bit to boost him. So it's not like super insane. Oh, we might be able to save his burst for this guy. Do it. I'm not sure. I, do, I did kind of forget a lot about what Wander does and how to play him, really. So we are going to try and save burst now. We're making pretty good time. We're at 840. If we can kill this dude real quick, then maybe. Okay, cool. And we have all bursts for next floor, which is really important because that's the really hard floor. This team I'm a little bit more unsure about, but we're going to give it our best, I guess. And now our Ito. Um, Yeah, I mean, Ito's doing pretty good damage. Benny Boost already ran out, so that's that was a little unfortunate. But oh, yeah, all the Abyss Mages might be a little bit of a problem with basically only Geos. The Pyro one will be annoying, but other than that, I think Benny can actually take care of them pretty well oh man i'm choking already we still have like some eremites to get through so uh yeah need to pick up the pace a little bit moga Nah, i totally screwed that up so bad i'm gonna retry already what might be easier honestly and i'm probably gonna end up doing this is uh kind of a strategy um i use sometimes in abyss ah i couldn't get the burst in time and then i did it anyway what i might do here is just go as fast as i can on this first floor and then reset abyss so that i have burst and we're making somehow we're making a lot worse time now i'm not sure where i where i messed up exactly but now we're like at half time my issue was i probably need to focus on the pyro one actually because all the geo stuff we're doing should like hit the others as well and then like yeah i just had to deal with the pyro one at the end forever uh, because I can only do a little bit of damage with Geo at a time. But now you can see they're all down just from the AoE. These other two as well. So if we can just kill these guys now in the next 30 seconds, we are golden. Uh, I think that'll actually work. If there's none off to the side hidden anywhere, which I don't think there is. Okay, 20 seconds left. Very good, very good. Now we're going to leave and just do it again. This is a strategy I like to use for the super hard abysses. Uh, we're gonna just abandon challenge you know we have the three stars now so we'll have the burst at start of the hard stuff chamber two but i'm hoping we can knock out chamber two and three in one go now and somehow we we actually made the same time we did without trying to save bursts so that's funny yeah but i guess this one wouldn't have worked out while trying to save bursts oh god ito is doing too much damage <laughs> i need to back off oh no 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 move can one of you die though? Wow. If you actually let them do anything, they are so dangerous. I didn't I didn't realize that because I just killed them. We should be decently prepared, but I'm still pretty nervous, honestly. Oh my god, I completely messed everything up. I'm going to Wonder really messes with my muscle memory because usually when I swap to a character, it's to do their burst. And with Wonder, I just do his burst immediately while he's still on the ground. And then I spammed E, so he went up and then fell back down, so I didn't have that either. Uh, so yeah, cool. All right, just gonna spam a bit because when we do his burst, everything gets wasted or the rest of his stuff. I guess we're just gonna do it. Hopefully it hits multiple. Uh, I think it did, but it didn't hit that one, unfortunately. I'm mostly worried about the Consecrated Beasts, of course. Hopefully we can get them both with his burst here. They are, they are pretty close together. I'm just gonna do it before they separate. Oh, it still only hit the Electro one, sad. There is a good amount of energy recharge in this team, which is nice though. Um, Farozan basically is, can use her burst off cooldown. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, kill. Ooh, my wonder. Oh, and this really sucks. Uh, what, what, what is going on? I literally am stuck in the wall. Oh my God, can you stupid bastards die, please? Okay, wow. I think I have less than half time. Okay, half time, exactly, pretty much. Let's just see if we can kill the uh, ice one before we die. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I had the same problem last time. You can't really dodge super well with Ito. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. And Benny does provide some good healing, but I don't know if enough to tank all of that. And I did it again. Burst on the ground. I mean, it's probably all right. We'll probably still make better, better time than the first time, hopefully at least. Hit both. Ah, dude, it's like they separate for the burst. It's insane. Uh, where did the Electro? Oh, uh, yeah, we made a lot better time. Was a, that was 110 this time. I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to try and kill anyone in particular. I'm just going to keep pressing buttons and hope for the best. Uh, it looks like one of them. Yeah, the main one is dead. We do have Benny burst again, so that's nice. Oh, wait, Ningguang, go. Oh, we might actually be able to do this if nothing drastic happens. I mean, like, really, really bad. 
Okay, okay. We actually we actually obliterated this floor. 45 seconds left, maybe. Maybe. Oh no, don't do anything bad. No, no, don't do anything bad. Seriously. I'm gonna use this time to get a little bit of burst back, even though it's dumb, but <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow. We're past the hardest bit, but things still need to go right for chamber three. Most importantly, we need Shogun's Burst, which I'm pretty sure we do have since I haven't even used it yet. It's just not that strong unless you're in a team that kind of supports her. It's mainly just for the boss here. I don't think he does that immediately, or does he? I might have to reset this one because I kind of forgot. I'm just gonna do some DPS on him to start though. Okay, there it is now. Wait a second. Oh, I mean, we do have Shogun's E active. I don't know though. I am going to kill the rest of them around here because I... Okay, yeah, there he goes. He's down. Now now we just got to do some more DPS. No, stupid Moga. Oh, and then I spammed the E again, so he's on the... Gr I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we'll definitely have to retry this one. He is back on the ground. If we can do it in, like, half time, like with this burst right here, uh, that's not going to kill him. Of course not. Let's just do a Shogun burst anyway, see what it does. Oh, this again? Nah, I think we can actually restart already. Too many mistakes that time. I'm gonna take this one as well, because I think we should be able to stay about 50% somewhat easily. All right, he is back down again. We're at about 40 seconds. Hopefully this burst does a good chunk. Um, so this is all right, yeah. And he is invisible again. As soon as I go up with Wonder, how annoying. And down again. We gotta kill him in this burst right here. Come on. I need half time for the other floor because those Aramites are pretty tanky, actually. Uh, the first three, I mean, yeah, I don't know. If we can have like at least 50 seconds left for the for the other three, maybe we can do it. Yeah, it looks like we'll have about a minute, maybe. If nothing like horrible happens, maybe. Oh God, these are the ones that summon things. I'm not sure about this, actually. 30 seconds left. Nah, why are they all spread out though? No, come on. Nah, it's definitely not gonna work. Ah, oh, we need to be faster on the boss. I feel like I should be able to do it in like a minute. If everything works out perfectly. No, a minute will never work out. Actually, I don't think I've made any massive mistakes. Except that one that probably didn't do anything to anyone. Well, 849? Oh no. I thought that would- I thought the burst would kill him. Go! We have like 10 extra seconds. That might be enough. Kind of messing up on the first three beginner Aramites now. That uh, wasn't too bad, actually. We have a minute 20. That's definitely more time than we had before, but like, they're all spread out. It's so- it's so garbage. One dead? Okay. The others still have basically full HP. Come on, Benny, burst! 20 seconds for this last one. I don't know. Oh, if Benny could just get his burst. I should have given him the festering. Oh, it worked. We did it. Yay. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be actually, because like I said, I tried this on the last abyss, which is the same as this one, but I, I mean, last rotation. And I couldn't do it. I literally gave up. I tried it for like two hours with various teams. I guess I kind of forgot she actually has a very solid Ito team because I'm actually pretty used to Ito. I use them qu quite a bit. Oh man, but that was still quite a bit of a challenge. Very cool. I think the main issue is that Shogun is kind of just not really that useful in that team. I mean, she's all right. I think she provides some kind of bonus because of Wander's passive or something. Yeah, he gets this Electra bonus, extra energy. So that may have been why it felt so like energy heavy and everyone just had their burst all the time. So I guess it helped a bit. And Shogun herself is very good for energy generation, but yeah, I think it would have overall been faster if I didn't need Shogun and could take some kind of extra buffer or even better off field damage like Yelan or whatever. I guess if you are struggling to 36 star because of that, you could go without an Electro if it doesn't suit your team for the first two chambers, you know, three star those and then go back in and not worry about the time limit. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time. Also, why do you have 30 million Mora bones and 2,000 euros wit? <laughs>